Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What was ruined because too many people did it? Craft fairs. Now they're crowded with dozens of MLMS. I just want to find knitted slippers made by an old lady who clearly has a drinking problem. Not more Norwex. My cousin sells Mary Kay and always sets up a booth at craft fairs. She puts up signs saying, support your small business. Huh? Those people see themselves as successful independent entrepreneurs who've pulled themselves up by their own bootstraps and are totally responsible for it all. One of the small towns I've lived in has an annual street fair. Used to be great as you'd have local artists and crafters, local food trucks and kids rides. And while it did bring in outside people for the day, it was predominantly locals so you'd wander around and stop often to chat. Local politician decided to set up a booth one year. The next year the opponent did the same thing and now one whole street of the fair is just filled with local politicians handing out flyers and trying to get people to vote for them. Really dragged down the tone of the fair. EW, how gross. <laughs> Cooking shows. It used to be a few talented chefs who had shows to teach. Now it's every damn celebrity who can or cannot cook making the same recipes as everyone else. I miss the Food Network back in the day with Good Eats. Good Eats last night I watched S1E1 of this for the first time. What a different and informative tone compared to present day shows. What's even worse is there are no real cooking shows anymore it's stupid competition after stupid. Competition. YouTube. Most of the good modern cooking shows are on YouTube. Food Network has been trash for almost two decades now. America's Test Kitchen is still great. The summit of Mount Everest is like a trash heap now. You forgot to mention the fact that it's basically a mass grave now too. Fun stuff indeed. Honestly, if I was on a hiking trail and I kept seeing unburied corpses it would kind of kill the fun. Airbnb. Used to love Airbnb years ago. Now it's pricier than a lot of decent hotels, and some of the house rules are nutty. My friend gave me a discount coupon for one. I compared it to a local hotel and the hotel was cheaper with less rules. My hotel doesn't expect me to leave the room in pristine shape. I leave the towels in the tub and pick up all garbage but I'm not expected to vacuum and dust. The Appalachian Trail. People leaving their trash everywhere is really ruining the trail and it's so fucking crowded now. People who litter on trails or campsites or in general annoy the fuck out of me. If you brought it in, you are fully capable of bringing it out. Do you actually like being out in nature if you leave your trash in it? People are pigs. I work in a store and people leave garbage and half-eaten food samples stuff in amongst the products. Adults blame kids but there's no kid tall enough to reach the spots I've found gross garbage. People could have a garbage can attached to their hip and they'll still find a place on the ground to throw it. Usually, they're not too bright either. Same people who trash public bathrooms and scream in hotels at two in the morning. Litterbugs are the sum of the worst people. We take trash bags when we go hiking and pick up whatever we see. One time we were doing it. A bunch of kids were around and they started picking up trash and bringing it to us. It was pretty amazing. I sharpened some sticks up for them to stab the trash with and they really seemed to like stabbing trash so it made it fun for them. What really made us mad was there was a trash can within sight that the litterbugs could have used. I filled up a trash bag with litter the last time I went to Rocky Mountain National Park and mother. Nature repaid me with a big fat joint. You used to be one of only a few people around bidding on storage lockers. It used to be a fun hobby I gave up on because it became too popular and people are grossly overpaying for the lockers which is often time just paying to make a dump run for someone. My mom put all my stuff in a storage locker when I went abroad and then lost it for not paying for eight months and lying about it. I lost everything I own since childhood except for two suitcases of clothes I had brought with me to study abroad. All my photos, journals I had kept religiously since I was five years old, mementos, stories, poems and paintings, thousands of dollars of rare books, stuff I hoped to digitize and or give to my kids someday face with cold sweat I tried to find out what happened to my stuff after I found out what happened but whoever bought the unit threw everything away. Now when I see ads for those shows I just feel sick to my stomach. Edit. Here's a link to a repost of something I wrote when I found out what happened. Edit 2. The original link to that post was deleted. Sorry, I thought everyone could see it. I posted it as a comment responding to this post. Had the same thing happen with my dad. I moved to another city temporarily for a seasonal job and my dad said he'd pay for a storage locker for all my stuff while I was gone. He ended up not paying any of it and lying about it the whole time, and the unit was sold off. Finding out all the irreplaceable things you've accumulated over the years are just gone. With no way to get him back, is a horrible feeling. My condolences. Give it a couple of years. The people doing that will run out of money eventually. In the meantime, you could go and not bid. Then offer reasonable sums on anything that catches your eye to the people who have just bid too much.
they'll be looking to quickly capitalize on the money they've just burned. Are still riding high on the endorphins from winning on a big purchase and you're at ground zero. For a quick appraisal and access to choice items. Might not work, but it'd certainly give you back some of the fun without all of that risk. Plus you might get to stick it to the people who keep you from your hobby. As long as they are running the TV shows, just like gamblers, you're going to get new suckers trying their luck.